All right, here we go. So your final project is going to be ribbons. All right, so um, some of you probably wonder, like, why are we doing ribbons? Um, so ribbons, it was actually an assignment that I was given in college, and um, it wasn't it wasn't necessarily um, such a challenging concept that it was meant for a college course. But it was just a, it was something that one of my professors, um, a really interesting guy, um, he just had this ability to draw these ribbons in, in, in many different forms. And I always thought it was just kind of cool and interesting and fun. Um, and so for the final project, I'm going to show you how to draw these ribbons. And you're basically going to create your own piece in your sketchbook using these different variations of ribbons. So I'm going to go through, and I'm, I'm going to show you about six different ways to draw ribbons. Um, and I will um, post all of these separately so that you can watch each tutorial and um, go from there. Okay, so your first ribbon that you can draw is going to just be your standard traditional ribbon. Now, what you need to do is you need to first, when you hold your pencil, I like to hold it somewhere towards the middle and you just need to loosen up a little bit. Okay, so what I like to do is draw with my whole arm and you really need to loosen up and be able to get some cool and very smooth lines. Okay, so let me show you that again. Just some really smooth back and forth lines. Okay, now how can I make these lines is you take everywhere the ribbon ends and where it stops and you draw a line straight down. Now, you can draw this line any angle you want, but whatever angle it is, every line has to be going in the same angle. Okay, so if I draw this one at this angle, then this one has to be at this angle, this has to be at this angle, this has to be at this angle, and so on. Okay, so let me just show you another example. If I draw this line and I draw the line going this way, then every line I draw has to go the same direction. Okay, so let's go back just really quick. Now some of this is going to be confusing, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain everything. So the best of my ability, then I'm going to explain a few things that I notice that kids normally mess up with the ribbons. Okay, I'm going to draw my line. All right, I'm going to draw this line going this way, and every line should be the same length. And what I'm doing is I'm putting all my lines everywhere the line turns back. So the furthest point all the way over here, furthest point to the left, furthest point over here, furthest point up here, and then this, if you want, you can have it stop, or you could just actually have the ribbon run off the page. Now, all you need to do is take this point, you're going to start here, you're going to start here. You're going to start right at the bottom of this ribbon, and you're going to draw a mirror image of the line above it. Okay, now you're not going to have the line come up here because that doesn't follow that path. So basically if you think about it, it's almost like drawing parallel lines where you need to draw a line parallel to this one. So if I were to actually show you what it would look like, if this is a line and this is a line, they need to be parallel. Okay, but I'm going to erase that because I don't need that. I don't need that, and I don't need that. Okay, so what I do down here is I don't go this way. That's not right. I need to create a parallel line to this line right here. 
So a line that runs on the same path. And I don't want to just run it into here. I got to curve it with this curve here. Okay. Now this one's pretty easy because all I need to do is take this line and I need to replicate it down here and it's going to end right at that line. I'm going to take this line and replicate the line above it, have it curve down with this downward slope. And then this one is a little tricky, you got to start right about here and you're going to have that go all the way to the edge of your paper. So as you can see, the direction of this ribbon it's pretty cool the way that you can see the ribbon flow throughout your page okay so I'm gonna show you how to do the same thing but just a little bit more crazy okay so you take that whole scribble the key is you have to go back and forth. Okay, you gotta go back and forth. So let's just have this run off the page. What you do is you take this line here, draw a line down, line down, line down, and you gotta make sure that your lines are going in the same direction and they're also the same length. Okay? Now you go back to where you started, up here. That's where you started. You're going to take this line, draw a parallel line, and it's going to basically just run into that. You're going to take this line, and you're going to replicate this line above it. It's going to stop right there. You're going to take this line and curve it with the line above it. Then you're going to go back here, take this line, replicate this line. Now this is a little tricky. So some, a lot of people, what they do is they end up leaving this blank. So they add those lines and then they leave this blank. What you need to do is you have to think about the thickness of the ribbon. So one little tip is you could actually use your pencil as like a measuring tool. So you put the eraser on this line and your finger on this line. You go back here and you can see where about that line needs to be. Okay, so this part of the ribbon is in front of this part, and this part is in front of this part, and this part is overlapping this part. <laughs> so it basically just goes back into space and then it comes back out in front. So I'm going to replicate this line down here, and I'm going to replicate this line down here. And that's your ribbon. Now if you want this type of ribbon to overlap, okay, one thing that you could do is you could have your ribbons overlap by basically following the same concept. And whichever ribbon you want to be in front, all you need to do is erase the ribbon inside of the other ribbon. and now you have a little bit of overlap, okay? Now when you get really good at this, you can change up the size of your ribbons and you can have them go over and under and you can really start getting creative with how your ribbons are actually intertwining throughout the, the whole process. Now that's probably a little bit advanced for some of you, which is okay but I just wanted to show you how cool this can actually be once you get going with the, the whole idea of this. Okay. Now obviously if you have any questions feel free to let me know. I know that some of this is going to be a challenge for a lot of us. Um, so just make sure that you kind of relax, have fun with it, um, be creative, and um, you're going to want to watch the next couple videos to show you how to do the different types of ribbons. This is type 1 and then we'll have um, four or five additional